Fujita's scrupulous analysis of the many aerial photographs he had collected convinced him that not all tornadoes were created equal. Some caused extreme damage, others very little at all. In 1971, Fujita set out to classify these variations in tornado intensity. He decided to create a six-point scale and named it after himself. In the Fujita scale, an F0 signified wind speeds up to 72 miles per hour, causing light damage. An F5 was the most powerful tornado with winds up to 318 miles per hour. Evidence of an F5 included strong frame houses ripped from their foundations, debarked trees, and cars flying through the air. With an F5, Vegeta proclaimed, incredible phenomena can occur. Anything beyond an F5 would be inconceivable. Critics challenged his method of estimating wind speed. Undaunted, Fujita aggressively advocated for the acceptance of his tornado intensity scale. It's very difficult to compute the wind speed because tornadoes swirl very fast. He believed that devising a way to quantify tornado damage was a critical first step towards understanding their tendencies. Yeah. And move pretty fast. We were just looking out that window, mm -hmm. and I was to say, there's a tornado. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction? I grab a camera and look at this. <laughs> Vegeta's confidence and charm won over reporters, who soon dubbed him Mr. Tornado. Try to pinpoint which particular thunderstorm might produce tornado. Fujita proudly built this little fiefdom at the University of Chicago and hosted a stream of guests to his laboratory where he had built a tornado simulation device and would regale them with his trove of documents about disaster. He was interested in gaining a high profile for the kind of research he did uh, and for himself. But for the F scale to take hold in the popular imagination, there was some need for a really high profile tornado event. And that's what Fujita got on April 3rd and 4th of 1974. 